Next up here we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, another familiar franchise here on Demo Reel. And like I've mentioned before when we've had this game on the show, I played a lot of Tony Hawk when I was a kid. Um, I, when I was young, I would just pick up any old game that would let me create characters, because that was one of my favorite things to do, and it, there weren't as many games that would let you do that back then. Uh, like, there was still plenty of them, but they, they just went all over the place. Like, they are now where most games these days, if they don't let you make a character, will eventually let you do it in a sequel. Uh, even Sonic uh, now is letting you do creative characters. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. But, uh, so even though I'm, I'm not a skater, uh, I don't, you know, follow skating. I didn't know who Tony Hawk was before playing this game. Um, I honestly had no idea who he was until uh, I played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Um, I still played this one, Tony Hawk, like two. I remember playing Tony Hawk's Underground, which I think was the last one that I played, um, outside of the ones we played in Demo Reel, of course. But um, yeah, I just I played it a lot. I ended up kind of growing to really like the game, uh, liking the gameplay and stuff, because even though I didn't care about skateboarding, and I was better at it than I am now, I'm, I'm just goofing off here, um, I uh, just kind of grew to, to like some of the, the more fun elements. I remember working really hard to unlock a KISS concert in Tony Hawk's Underground, I think it was. Um, it's got you a whole new KISS concert, like, park, and... Um, you got to hear them sing I Wanna Rock and Roll All Night, and, like, I'm not a big KISS fan, but it was still pretty freaking cool uh, at the time. I, and uh, I just liked making characters. Um, like, you can make some familiar characters like Spider-Man and stuff with the parts they had, or you could just make wholly original people. I liked to do both. Um, I, I think it made a new save every time you made a new character. I think that this was one of the games that had, had it like that. Um, kind of like, uh, what was it, Def Jam, Fight for New York did that, uh, because it was a whole new story mode every time you did it. If, I, if I'm remembering correctly, and it was, this was a long time ago, so I, I can't say for sure that I am remembering correctly. But, um, yeah, I had a whole bunch of characters I made, some of which are characters I use in other, um, stuff now. I had a lot of characters I made as a kid somehow survived and got, uh, remade into the modern modern stuff that I do, but, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I didn't mean to select, uh, retry. We, um, don't have anything to gain from playing this again, because I could talk about my memories of playing Tony Hawk for a while, but I don't think that's terribly interesting. That's what the game's like. This is the most basic and boring location. Um, the game is fun. I always like the game. Uh, it's just a shame that there's so little to do in the demo. Uh, oh, there's more here. Ten... Real world courses, including skate park schools. Yeah, and I think two had a lot more locations, if I recall. Um, again, it's been a long time, though. Alright, it's time for Soul of the Samurai, the game I know the least about heading in on this disc. I don't think I've ever heard of this game, or seen it before, um, but it has an interesting thumbnail on the menu. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I should have paid, paid closer to those controls it just showed me. I think I saw circles, use item, we'll probably figure it out while we're playing. Uh, but here we see that Konami presents. And then some uh, nice little opening video here. I like this. This this is uh, this feels nostalgic even though I've never seen it before, if that makes any sense. Um, just some good old fashioned samurai goodness here with that old school retro <laughs> music, video game music. So there's a wizard, saw a wizard there, um, lots of samurai. There, there are a good number of samurai in here, but there's also ninjas, in case you were worried. Saw some ninjas there. Uh, yeah. This isn't telling me anything about the game other than what a lot of the characters look like, and in that regard it could just as easily be like, uh, um, what, Tengu or... I don't know. I can't think of Samurai games on the top of my head. I saw the, the thumbnail, though, when the girl swung her sword out. I think that was the thumbnail for the game. Uh, except it looked... Uh, the colors looked different, but it was the right pose and everything. But anyway, here we see a ancient castle, and it's pretty... This looks a lot more arcade-like than um, 
what we saw just a little bit ago. So I, I don't know why something about that menu felt like a like an arcade menu, but we'll, we'll, we'll give this a shot. I'm excited to, to learn about this game here. So we see, um, I guess the Kunoichi running through the, the streets here in the rain. We don't know anything about her yet, but... I guess she's expecting a fight, looks like. Um, here comes a guy. We saw him in the trailer. Uh, his name's Kotaro. He says, what's this? Oh, that's who she was fighting, okay. These guys, she's already killed one of them. Oh, I guess Kotaro's gonna help out. Grown men to picking on a child? Grown men to picking on a child? Here, baby, I'll lend you a hand. Okay, I, I already love this game. Uh, that, that sentence alone was enough to convince me. All right, so we've got some uh, sword swinging. Looks, um... well, they act like they die the second I touch them. Man, I move stiffly. Holy crap. Okay, I am facing the wrong way. I can't seem to turn around. There we go. Okay, I got them. A little awkward. Whoever you are, I don't recall asking for your help. I'm, she says, oops, shouldn't have treated you like a child. Kotaro replies before she can say her name. Relax, I just don't like bullies. I'm not interested in kids. Lady, what did you do to get the authorities on your tail? I'm sorry, but I don't have the time to chat. I'm not good at reading dialogue, but that's okay. I have to hurry. All right, maybe we will run into each other again. All right, so they're acting like they're leaving, but they they were surrounded. I thought. Okay, well. All right, and so we get to play as Ronin, Kitaro, Eva, or Ninja Lin. Um, well, we already played Kitaro a little bit, so let's do Lin just to get to play a little bit of both of them here in the demo. I don't think I'll ever get to play this demo again, uh, so we won't get a chance to play through it again as Kotaro. But, um, a ship laden with the Shogun's gold disappeared. A ninja, Shin, was dispatched to investigate. When contact was lost with him, the Shogunate sent three more spies. Unbeknownst to them was the presence of a fourth ninja, Rin, Shin's younger sister. Okay, so that's our backstory. Uh, our brother went missing. So this is basically like Kusami's story from Dead or Alive. Um, okay. That was careless of me. So much for my ninja training. Yeah, you weren't even trying to hide. You were just running down the street. Where could my brother have gone to? It's a good question. Maybe I can get clues by finding the lost transport ship. Okay, so I'm looking for a lost ship. Okay, and now we can move around. Alright, and this, this is one of these games. So this plays a little bit like, um, what comes immediately to mind is Parasite Eve or Dino Crisis, but there are plenty of other games like that. But we just have these screens we walk between and... Let's see. Can I run? Is there a run button? Or... It doesn't seem like I can. Oh wait, here we go. L1 runs. Okay. So that'll help. Can't seem to go through this door though. Uh, I threw it threw one of my knives instead. Um I have two different items I can switch between. Yeah, none of my buttons are um letting me open this door, so I don't know. I guess I can't go through there. I just, it just won't let me. Um, yeah, there's n no way to get through there that I can find. If there's a button to open doors, um, it's not an immediately obvious one, because I just pressed every button on the controller before trying to walk through there. So we'll go out this way instead. Um, it's like getting a, a little bit of a look around here. I see a statue, golden, and... Uh, yeah, that, that was about it. Okay. Oh, and there's people everywhere. Hello. Can I talk to you? Or... Here we go. 
Uh, the Buddha statue on that tower is sacred. You should see it. Okay. I like how they're just walking aimlessly. I don't know, there's something funny about it. Because it's such a small space, but there's four of them wandering around aimlessly. Only the square is safe. Be careful if you're going outside. Oh, only the square is safe. So that's probably why they're all crowded around here, just walking around in circles. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and see if I can interact with this statue. I don't know, I can't seem to. There's a ladder over here. I can't get to it, as far as I can tell. Uh, like, the statue definitely looks important. But, my, I don't know, the, I pressed square to talk, which was my attack button when the weapon's drawn. But, um, it didn't, square didn't seem to do anything with it. Uh, you're not from around here, from Edo. I'd like to go there. Okay. Um, did you know that a big ship washed up on the shore? You want to see it? Don't go. It's unsafe outside. Well, too bad. I'm going. And... Some more people wandering aimlessly. I don't know, something about this walk around is really funny. Obtain the healer. Okay, I was trying to talk to this guy, but alright. Could you put your sword away, please? Um... I did. How about you, how do you feel now? Okay. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like me having it on my back. I, I, I guess I can't really blame him. Man, there's so many people in this game. I heard a village nearby was wiped out by disease. The beach here is called uh, Ganryuguhama. It used to be famous. Uh, I don't recognize that name. Uh, to reach the sea, you have to go through Raven Forest. Now I know where the transport ship is, Lin says. Okay. And one more person to talk to you. Heal Herb is better than nothing. You should get some. I think I have four, yeah. That's what that other item is. I can just press circle if I have that selected in the bottom. And I should use it. Okay. This road goes to the castle, but the gates have been closed. Okay. Well, I don't want that. I want to go through Raven Forest. This doesn't lead to the sea. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know, because I had no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Um, some more people walking around. The weather has been strangely cold. Nobody visits the graveyard or the temple anymore. Alright, um, so this is another building I can't go into. Oh, there's so many people to talk to. I think it's wrong to kill the defenseless. What do you think? Okay, um, the temple priest is a huge man. He's very intimidating. Okay, maybe we'll meet him. Who knows? There are no doctors here. It could be bad if you're hurt. Well, I've got healer. Heal herb. Heal herb. Uh, our clothes are too good for the people here. Pretty ladies like you are always welcome. Um, alright, Taylor. Okay, that doesn't lead to the sea either. I just gotta keep going whatever direction she'll allow me to, I guess. Um, go down. Hold on. See a thing I'm... Okay, I got an antidote. Let's talk to this person. I had a dream of being attacked by something like a giant slug. Oh, okay. I am familiar with samurais and giant slugs. And that experience in Musashi. Okay. Once you leave the square, you could be attacked any time. Samurai around here will attack without any reason. Why? <laughs> Why would they do that? The dojo ahead has no students. I don't know how to, they keep going. And I've been getting these awful headaches lately. I'm sorry. Let's see, does this lead to the sea? It does not. Okay. So I guess we can go down this way then? Um... Well, we've been everywhere now, I think. Everywhere to let me go. Unless maybe now that I've talked to some people I can go this way. Um, this is the only other thing I can think of. But this, like, nothing looks different. Tapping square doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, I don't know where Raven Forest is. Uh, every way out of town I've seen has had Lynn tell me that that's not the way to the sea. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's something we still need to do with this statue. The statue seems really important. It's like way brightly brighter colors than the rest of the game. Kind of like I am. Uh, but I can't interact with it in any way that I can see. I think I've gone just about every direction I can. Talk to everyone I can. Wait, something happened. Okay, I guess I didn't try going this way. My brother, Shin. 
Are we gonna remember Shin now? It's also a little bit of the Fatal Frame backstory. I don't know. Sisters looking for their brothers seems common in <laughs> some of these games. Uh, come on, Lin, don't give up so easily. But big brother... Do you want to become an orphan again? Again? Uh, we were saved because Master recognized our potential as ninjas. I guess he's talking about losing the Master. Get up, Lin! You are not a kid anymore! Yes, I'll try harder, Shin! Okay, so that's our fond memory of Shin. Uh, working us to the brink of death. Okay, wait. It's getting dark, let's call it a day. I pressed R2 because it told me to, but... Um, yeah, we didn't do any actual training. It's getting dark. Okay, let's go home. Uh, I guess that was a good little tutorial thing that I did not do. Uh, so, when the time comes to battle, I will um, not be able to do it properly. Okay. So whatever I was supposed to be learning in that little memory fight. Um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I got a shuriken. That's cool. Bye, guys. Okay, so Samurai will attack me for no reason, and that certainly seems to be the case. Come on now. Get them. Get them. Okay. I see another bag here. Lots of stuff to pick up after I leave the square, though. So let's see. I don't think I can go this way. I probably just keep my weapon drawn if it's all gonna be like this. Every new map is gonna have the same number of people as in the square, except now they have swords and are trying to kill me. <laughs> okay. I'm taking a few blows, but I haven't used any healing items yet, and I don't think I'm going to need to anytime soon. I've got quite a few. I don't know how much a healing a healing herb helps me. Um, like I don't know how much of my bar it refills, so I want to wait until I'm pretty close to death before using one, it's just in case it does heal me a fair amount. I don't want to waste it. Speaking of which, we got a Haperinkosio. Haperinkosio. Good. There's no way that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I don't. I don't know some of these words. I apologize. Okay, Hanzo. Hey, I found a guy named Hanzo. Lin, why are you here? He's hurt bad. Don't move. I have to treat your wounds. I keep forgetting I can make the text go faster. Uh, Lin, why did you have to come? Lawman. So this is where you hid, you shogunate dog. Okay. Hmm, another of your ninja friends. How convenient. Okay, so I guess I have to fight these clowns now. Alright, I'm down. And then, oh, okay, we got a different angle here now than before. Boy, there's, these guys feel like they're a little bit more um, aggressive than the other ones. Jeez, okay, hold on. Oh, I did something by accident. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't... I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to heal, but it wouldn't let me switch over. I guess I can't switch items when I'm um, in battle, but maybe I can still use an herb. Okay, he healed me about halfway. That's Okay, that's good to know. Alright. Let's get back to it. Oh, he blocked my attack. Okay. Well, there we go. I got him. That, he was the only one with the health bar, so I guess he was a boss. Uh, hang on, Hanzo. What happened? Our identities as ninjas were known to them from the start. I was attacked as soon as I arrived, but why? This fiefdom is behind the disappearance of the transport ship. Just as I thought. What are they doing with the gold? Ginzo is investigating that. Ken is searching for Master. Ginzo and Ken? Where are they now? Uh. Oh, okay, I thought he died. I don't know. They should have their findings with them. And what about you, Hanzo? He's a goner. I'm searching for the sword, Rakuyo, that was loaded with the gold. I hid my papers at Outs. At Out Safe House. G -g -g go there. G -g 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 go. I will, Hanzo. Hang on. Lin Lin, M Master Sh Shin. Shin, what happened to my brother, Hanzo? There. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. 
I'm sorry, Hanzo, I couldn't save you in your spreading pool of blood. But, oh well. Hanzo, I promise, I will avenge your death. Okay, so... That's it, okay. Available this summer, DualShock controller compatible, developer KCE Sapporo. That was fun, I like that. <laughs> it was cheesy, but fun. Um, but let's go ahead and move on, we've got some more to do here. Alright, so our last game on this disc is the other baseball game, MLB 2000. Looks like we've got a couple of different control screens here. Uh, but that's okay, I don't need to know how to play. Hopefully at the very least, at the start of this one, I'll know which team I am. I'll know whether I'm pitching or hitting. I, I don't know why it was so hard for me to figure out which it was when we played before. I just, I don't know, I, I guess just from the camera position, I just assumed that we were batting at the start, because we didn't do a team select, so I didn't have any indication as to where I was playing, um, other than, I guess, recognizing the controls. But I wasn't paying that close attention to the controls, I was just pressing buttons and seeing what happened, because um, this is a baseball game, and I uh, can't say that I've ever put much effort into playing a baseball game. Um, so let's see, are we Craig Biggio here, are we blue, or are we red? Let's see what we can figure out before we actually start here. Um, so, it looks like I'm hitting, because I didn't, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm batting, I'm pretty sure, because I didn't press any buttons to make him throw it. Um, okay. Uh -huh. I'm trying to remember how to do this. We've played baseball games with this system before, and I'm trying to remember exactly how to do it. So, the ball shows where he's swinging it. That was a foul. Um... And it's it's taken me a little bit too long to adjust to the positioning here, so I can't really try to swing it. But there we go. We, I hit it, and I made it to first. Looks like, so success, I guess. I'm Barry Bonds. I know who this guy is. <laughs> kind of. It's another one where I recognize the name. It doesn't happen often in these sports games. Uh, I didn't tell him to try to steal the base. I don't. Okay. I guess he just was. Uh, anyway. Okay. The strike, I didn't swing. How was... Okay. Um... There we go. Um, I'm still hitting really low. I don't know if that's because of what button I'm hitting to swing. Because I, I know he... Pre I, oh, I know Sammy Sosa's name, too. I know that the pitcher is pressing different buttons to, um... To do different types of... Uh, throws, and it looked like pressing circle there made me go for a bunt instead of, um, like a regular swing, so maybe I should try pressing some different buttons here. Um, I don't know what happened there. He didn't, he swung after the ball was thrown back. I don't know if that was just a, like a, well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to hit that. Uh, okay. This is, are they, they're getting a, Chant going out there in the crowd looks like some we will we will rock you. I don't know what which uh, one we're in. That was a foul. Everyone's still running though, um, but they had to go back. Okay, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps pitching into like these weird corners. Like I'm not gonna be able to hit it there. I guess he's just hoping I'll swing at it and it'll count. Oh, I swung too fast. Okay. He got me out, so I guess now I'm Mark McGuire. Is this like an all-star team? Cause, or did these people all actually play on the same team? I know these names. Um, the, I didn't know the first guy we were, but I knew Sammy Sosa and Barry Bonds, and I know Mark McGuire. And these guys while playing baseball when I was in school. I remember hearing people talk about them in class. There we go. I actually hit it, and it didn't go into the ground. He's just going to catch it. That's the thing about games like this, um, when you, when the ball is up in the air like that, it's really easy to catch it. You just have to be where the giant circle is. Um, I remember doing that when I was pitching, which I guess I am now. Um, so we're going to get to see the other side of this, and that's probably all we'll do with the game. I don't plan to play a whole lot of this. Um, I'm already pretty uh, tired of it. Well, let's try throwing it to the corner. Uh, see, he hit it. That was clearly foul. Alright. So. 
Let's um, yeah, let's do more. Okay, well, shoot. See, when it's on the ground, it's a lot harder to, and I don't know what buttons to press to swing around. <laughs> to like to, I guess maybe it's I when I have the ball, I throw it to whichever corresponding plate is there is with the controls. I didn't tell him to do that. Okay. I was pressing the same buttons I've been pressing to pitch, and he threw it to, um... Okay, come on now. Just get in the circle. What? I couldn't get to it fast enough, because it took me a while to realize which character I was, I guess, but... Yeah, I press X to throw on default, because I'm just used to that being an action button, but X just throws it to home, so I need to... It didn't matter, everyone was already at their spots, but, um... I'm not, I don't want to do that. Qu quit throwing it around, you assholes. I just want to pitch. Okay, whatever. Alright. Yeah. Obviously this isn't going well because I... Not only do I not know what I'm doing, I'm not particularly interested in figuring it out. I don't know... I don't know what the difference between a ball and a strike is. Like, I, I know what the difference is in terms of, like, getting something out. But, um... I don't know what constitutes a strike when they don't swing. Anyway. Like, there he swung, and so obviously it was a strike. I get that, but both uh, both the computer and myself have not swung and still gotten a strike. Um, so I, I just don't know it, who... I guess it's probably the umpire's call. I keep pressing buttons, and they just... I don't know... There we go, alright. And uh, once again, it took me too long to realize where I was, so I didn't start running immediately. But whatever, I don't care. So, wait, what's happening? Did they win? Is it over? Why is everyone out there celebrating? Oh. Uh, okay, I get. I guess that was it. Um, I said we were gonna quit right around then anyway, so I guess it's fine. We'll just. <laughs> I I wasn't expecting it to just stop there, but I, I guess that was the whole game. Um, so that's going to do it for us. That's the end of this disc. That's the last playable demo. Um, so be sure everything else on here was just videos. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Um, I did for the most part. I could have done without the two baseball games. Uh, of all the sports games, I think the baseball ones wear on me the most. Um, they're just so slow and boring, but uh, we got through them, and everything else on this disc was uh, either fun or interesting, even Croc, uh, to, a, to a certain extent. So, uh, yeah, good, nice, fun little PlayStation disc. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this, and if you did, come back next week, you know. Uh, I don't know what I'll be playing yet, but whatever it is, it'll be fun, like this was, and it'll be even more fun if you're there to share it with me. So, um... Let me see what video I want to end here with. Um, see, the thing about these PlayStation discs is all the videos look good. Um, but I guess we'll just close out with some Macross. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Get free, get free.